analyze tracks in DJ Pro. I'm DJ Spiegelspin, and we're going to talk about it. As DJs, there is some information that is very necessary for us to have if we want to do certain types of mixing and certain types of blends. For one, the BPM is very important. You cannot play two songs at the same time if the BPMs are different. So by analyzing the tracks, it's going to give us the BPM and it's going to give us the key so that we can decide what kind of mixes we want to do. Now, you guys may have noticed when you add songs to your playlist, some of them some of them will tell you the BPM and some of them will tell you the key, but others will will, will not. So I'm going to show you an example right here. So if you see this year 2000, it says up here you see the B, that's the that's the key that the song is in and then the BPM is 107. Now when you see these other songs from then they're all from Tidal streaming service, this indication to let you know if it's from a streaming service or if it's from your device or if it's from your files. It doesn't tell us the BPM and it doesn't tell us the key. And then if we load it into the deck, there is no, it'll eventually tell us the BPM and the key, but it'll take a little while. So there are a couple of ways where we can instantly analyze all the songs so that they're ready to go when we're ready to DJ. So to access the analyze section, what we have to do is first find the song that didn't analyze. Some of them do it automatically. Uh, maybe you loaded them before or, you, or it, uh, it's easier to determine. But we could click this, these three dots over here. We click these three dots and it doesn't give us the option to analyze. If you want to analyze the track, what you do is you press, see where it says four songs over here? You press this and then you could go over here, all the way to the bottom, analyze songs. So now we're gonna click analyze songs. And then it will analyze the songs. And if you saw that loading screen, how it went really fast, that is because we are only doing three songs. Now, if we were going to analyze a huge playlist, let me get one of my bigger playlists. over here. Now this playlist is 98 songs. So now we're going to press analyze and it's going to take a lot longer and it's going to do it in the background and it might make things on your iPad or whatever device that you're using. It might take longer for it to analyze because it's more songs. So if you plan on doing one of these really big playlists and you want to analyze the tracks, what I recommend doing is doing it overnight. So like before you go to sleep, go to the playlist that you want to analyze and then hit analyze. And then just when you wake up, it'll already be done because it's just annoying having to analyze it and sit in there waiting while it loads. So with the these analyzed songs, we now get access to the key and we get access to the BPM. So DJ Pro has a built-in system that analyzes these songs because we need the BPM and we need the key to be able to mix with the songs. So now we know that this song is 122, that's the BPM, and then we could raise it or lower it to match the next song that we're trying to mix into. So by having these tracks analyzed, it makes it so much easier, we could just load up the track and then know what we want to do with the track. So if we go over here, if we go right to title, and then we go to explore, and let's just go get a random song, hip hop classics. So you see these songs are already pre-analyzed because they have the key and they have the BPM, but some of them are not analyzed. Let's see if we could find one. These ones are not analyzed. So we're going to load this into the deck. And then you see that if you look over here, look, we have songs that are not analyzed. And you see that little loading section. That's the app 
doing its thing and analyzing the song and getting the BPM for us. This makes DJing, beat matching, and doing mixes a lot easier. Back in the day when it was just two turntables and a mixer and actual record decks, you would have to put on the track and then you would have to count or some DJs would have like a clicker type thing and then they'd be counting one, two, three, the actual seconds between the, the beats and then that's how they would get an estimate of the BPM and then they would be able to they would be able to mix that way but it wasn't an exact science and it wasn't exact so it was really hard back in the day to play two songs at the same time but now with all the modern DJ technology and all the modern software we can analyze the tracks and know exactly what BPM the track is and exactly what key the track is and then if we want to adjust it, we could raise the BPM or lower it. And if we want to change the key, you could do plus or minus to the key. Or if you have another track loaded on another deck, you could match the keys together. And then it'll tell you here, minus one, plus one. And then you could also press the sync button once. And then it'll match the BPM for us to the, net, to the BPM on the other song so that we have the same BPMs and we could do a beat match or whatever type of mix that you would want to do. So very simply, to analyze the tracks, you go to the playlist and then you can analyze songs. So you have to be in the playlist. You can't be in this specific song and press the three arrows because there's no way to analyze. But you could go into these pre-made these pre-made playlists on your streaming services. So this is 75 songs. Let's just get a bigger one. Pop Kings, three hours. Let me try to find a really big playlist. Hip Hop Classics. So this is 530 songs. It would take one day and six hours to play all these songs. So now if we go here, we could analyze all 500 of these songs at once. So you don't have to do it individually. You don't have to add it to your own playlist and then do it. So now it's analyzing. And now my screen is going to be going crazy. So it did 21. It did 30. And it's going to be analyzing, playing all these songs, and then saving all the data for us so that when we're ready to DJ, we could take any one of these songs and it, it, it is already analyzed. So if you see, this one with 530 songs is taking a lot longer than it took to analyze the three or four songs. So like I said, do this overnight. Do it when you're not planning the DJ because if you were in the middle of a DJ set and you started doing this, your screen's going crazy and then you're stuck there. And then of course, if you want to cancel, which I do, cancel it right there. And then all the ones that it didn't analyze, it would be canceled and you can do it again another time. So let me know in the comments if you use this feature to analyze your tracks. Let me know if you have any other specific questions. And also let me know if I left anything out. So if you learned something from the video, give it a like. And if you want to learn stuff about DJ Pro and DJing with the iPad, subscribe to the channel. I make DJ videos almost every day.